We installed a Springwell WSS well water treatment system and performance tested it using a certified third party lab. The system includes a sediment filter, air injection oxidation system, and an ion exchange water softener. If you're on a well, you won't want to miss the insights we uncovered, so stay tuned to find out what we learned. Before diving into the data, I want to clarify that this system was objectively tested in real life conditions. The water samples were collected from one location in Colorado, had a limited range of contaminants, and may not reflect the performance of the system in other areas. Additionally, this is just one single test and does not provide any additional information on the system's long-term performance. Therefore, the results are not comprehensive or conclusive. We installed the system in a home near Telluride, Colorado, which was built in 1965 and had never undergone any water testing or treatment. The low water pressure and staining in sinks and toilets led us to suspect limescale buildup and high iron levels. To confirm our suspicions, we partnered with Simple Lab and used their TAPScore product for third-party certified laboratory testing. This involves receiving a test kit in the mail, collecting water samples from the home, and then sending them back. Simple Lab provides an online report with a TAP score of 1 to 99 based on the water quality and indicating any contaminants as well as plumbing issues and health risks associated with them. The lab provided specific instructions to collect the samples to ensure accurate testing. Two samples were taken from the same kitchen faucet for each test. The first draw sample was taken in the morning after the water sat in the pipes overnight to see how it interacted with the plumbing. The second sample was taken after flushing the pipes for five minutes to get an idea of the quality of the water as it comes directly from the well. Tests were conducted on November 26th of 2022 and then again on March 3rd of 2023 before and after after the system was installed on January 18th of 2023. The results are split into three main categories, plumbing related issues, aesthetic properties, and health related issues. First, I'm gonna talk about the plumbing related issues because that's where most, but not all, of the problems showed up and what this system is primarily designed to address. Confirming our suspicions, the pre-install test results indicated the possibility of excessive scale formation on plumbing and appliances due to very hard water at 13.71 grains per gallon. This indicates an extreme amount of scale buildup, especially in the hot water line. Additionally, the test detected 2.37 parts per million of iron. The Springwell system reduced hardness levels by 97.5% and eliminated the iron issue altogether. The test also showed low levels of manganese at 0.002 parts per million, but post-install saw an increase in manganese concentration to 0.022 ppm. This is most likely coming from the manganese green sand fusion media used in the AIO filter system. Do you have any questions about well water testing, contaminants, or issues? Let us know down in the comments. And if you're finding this video informative, do me a huge favor and smash that like button. Moving on to aesthetic properties, as previously mentioned, the 2.37 ppm of iron was causing visible staining in sinks, toilet bowls, and reservoirs. However, there was no noticeable metallic taste to the water. And because the system completely eliminated the iron, we're no longer seeing any staining at all. In the health section, we'll look at contaminants based on the Simple Lab recommendation, SLR, benchmark which prioritizes human health and is a much stricter guideline than the federal MCL. Prior to installation, the data indicated concerning levels of uranium and lithium as they can impact the kidneys and thyroid respectively. Post-installation, we see the lithium levels were reduced by 96%, but uranium levels remained the same. This isn't surprising because none of the technology in this Springwell system is capable of reducing uranium. Fluoride levels were not detectable pre-installation, but measured 0.244 ppm post-installation, although still below the SLR of 0.8 ppm. So there are a couple possible reasons for this. First, the green sand fusion media used in the AIO filter could contain traces of fluoride and actually be introducing it into the water. And second, the groundwater composition in the aquifer could have changed in the 97 days between the pre-install test and the post-install test. So further, on-site testing is needed to pinpoint exactly where it's coming from. Finally, there were a number of contaminants detected below the SLR health guideline, but I'd still like to go over them with you quickly just to show you how the system dealt with them. A few metals, chromium, cobalt, and vanadium were completely removed. 
nickel was reduced by 90%, barium by 94%, strontium by 98%, boron by 43%, molybdenum by 33%, zinc by 41%, copper by 56%, and selenium by 50%. Some contaminants increased in the post-install test, but the system lacks the capability to handle them and they're all still below the SLR, so they're not much of a concern. Nitrate concentrations increased by 17%, antimony by 66%, sulfate by 14%, and sodium increased by 914% to 191 parts per million, primarily due to the ion exchange water softening process. As you look into our test results, Please keep in mind that our sample was taken from just one location in the mountains in Colorado and most likely cannot be compared to your situation. Well water quality varies dramatically based on location, plumbing, water media interactions, and even the time of year. It's extremely important to test your water before purchasing a treatment system so that you can be confident it's actually capable of addressing your contaminants of concern. If you'd like to get your water tested with TAPSCORE or check out the Springwell system that we installed for this project, there are links and discount codes down in the description. And if you enjoyed this one, click or tap the screen right now to keep watching more of our water filter testing videos.